mainstream media has figured it out. The way to put you in a state of paralysis is to overwhelm you with things that you cannot control, but get so wrapped up into it that you're overwhelmed and you can't do anything. And in that state, you are susceptible <laughs> to programming. And that is a whole nother conversation altogether. However, when we get wrapped up into what we cannot control with our own hands, with our own mind, and our own body, we are giving up our power. And we're using that energy over something that cannot change. We don't have the ability to change certain things that go on in this world, especially things that are going on on the other side of the world. It's so easy to get wrapped up in that. And listen, being informed and knowing what's going on on the other side of the world, that it is important. It is important to have a worldly sense. I mean, what a gift that today's age has given us that can allow us to know what's going on around the world at any time of the day. I think that's absolutely incredible. And it allows us to connect in ways that we never were able to connect before. And trying to control the uncontrollable is, is futile. It's gonna sabotage any efforts that you make to try to control the things that you can. This is why I love the serenity prayer. Serenity prayer is such a great moment of pause. You know, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are just things that I cannot change. I cannot change people. I cannot change places. I cannot change events. I can't. And I have to accept that. And that's easier said than done. I work on that every single day. I cannot change my daughter. <laughs> I cannot control her. I cannot do those things. I have to accept that. And for the things that I can control, which are my thoughts, my feelings, my behaviors, that requires courage. I have the courage and I can at least garner the courage to change those things. And having the wisdom to know the difference is key. And the wisdom comes over time. So, you know, focus your energy on what you can influence and control in your life. Think about those things. Are you taking time to become aware and focus on your thoughts, your feelings, and your behaviors? And how much are the things that you cannot control influencing your thoughts, your feelings, and behaviors? I have plenty of my clients who I work with who they have to take a, a social media detox or a news detox because they've wrapped themselves up in that so much that it's become an addiction. The emotion of the fear, the emotion of needing to know, the emotion of getting wrapped up in the drama of things becomes an addiction for them and they have to break free by doing a true detox. Just like detoxing from anything that is harmful for us, whether it's physically or mentally or spiritually. So focusing on things that you can influence, things that you can control is gonna give you significant, significant growth and a significant edge over those who are still wrapped up in the game of what they can't control.